kind of near the end of our journey, I just wanted to take us through some classic G-Funk records and, and some classic P-Funk records, because I think the um, intersection of both those movements, you know, specifically within the, the, the historical context of uh, black music and black culture are really undividable, and they're just so important to talk about, um, you know, together, uh, I guess, you know, and to kind of give you a broaden your, uh, you know, expand your, your understanding of G-Funk music and its origins, you know, and G-Funk culture and its origins. Because people, again, when, I, when we start listening to G-Funk, people get all excited, you know, and I get it because it's a major music out here. A lot of people vibe to this stuff now. Um, you know, I still hear, you know, college students, 20-year-olds bumping this stuff, you know. Um, you know, so a little bit about Ice Cube. I mean, we, 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 we heard Ice Cube in the gangster um, rap section in N.W.A. We heard a little bit um, from his America's Most Wanted album and Tales from the Dark Side. Now, Cube, again, you know... Um, you know, he got, uh, he got a little bit away from, you know, that uh, public enemy sound from America's Most Wanted on the Predator, uh, Lethal Injection. You know, he gets back to, the, like, the West Coast uh, vibe, specifically on, on, on this record. Um, yeah, so this is from 1993, maybe 1994. Um, and... Uh, you know, again, like at this time, he started to really vibe out on his West Coast style sound. And that was particularly, you know, because Cube really went to the P-Funk. He sampled, did cover versions. I mean, he really went into the P-Funk sound himself and mined that um, to, make, to make these records, you know. And, um, man, you know, uh, most of this produced by Sir Jinx, another really classic a G-Funk producer whose name you gotta know. Um, but, you know, you wanna talk about, like, relationship to P-Funk. I mean, the dude basically did a cover version of this song right here. Um, George Clinton, you know, uh, Funkadelic, you know, One Nation Under a Groove. Getting down just for the funk of it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, he put out his own version, One Nation Bop Gun, which is really a cover version of One Nation Under a Groove. Um, and he, you know, he got George Clinton on this. And I mean, that was the thing is, like I said about George, is like, you know, um, is that George embraced hip hop. I mean, the thing about Cube though, and this is just so vital, um, This is so vital is, is the thing about Cube is he used a lot of the same techniques as G-Funk artists. Um, you know, the mining, P-Funk, uh, the synths, um, the bass, all of that stuff. He used a lot of the same techniques, but like he went in a totally different lyrical direction. He went, you know, more um, in the introspective, more on the socially conscious, more, you know, he, he dug a little bit, not, not to say everything, you know, wasn't bull, you know, wasn't like, you know, perfectly orchestrated, socially conscious music, you know, I mean, clear homophobia, misogyny in his lyrics and all that stuff, um, and problematic in that way. But, you know, he had darker lyrical themes. He had still more themes about police brutality, um, and, 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 you know, social inequity that he brings up in this, in this, in, in his music. So he, 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 he emulated a lot of the G-Funk sound, but his lyrics were just on another tip. But yeah, he takes from Bop Gun, um, you know, um, which is, you know, pretty interesting. The song that George Clinton had, um, and I think it was a, a Parliament song, uh, and it's called Bop Gun Endangered uh, Species. And the, basically, you'll see in this music video for One Nation um, where the bop gun um, appears. George Clinton is in the music video, and there's a scene, and I'll bring it up, I'll show it to you, where, where he appears with the bop gun. And the bop gun was basically, 
you know, this idea of like this gun that was part of like the, the George Clinton's performance that would fill people's heart. The idea is like the bop gun will fill your heart, you know, with love and, and through music and, and stuff like that. So um, you see that in, in this um, in this music video. But um, yeah, so we're going to get into um, One Nation bop gun ice cube featuring george clinton um again you know we're talking about g-funk and listen to how uh cube in this song you know uses the g-funk vibe you know this is from 93 94 uses the g-funk vibe but he talks about different things um lyrically in here <laughs> 